the situation in Kazakhstan, does, does what is happening there in any way change the dynamic for the U.S.-Russia talks that are going to begin next week from the U.S. side? And is there any thought that Putin might be less likely to invade Ukraine while this crisis is playing out in Kazakhstan? Well, let me touch on a couple of things first to provide all of you an update, and you may have seen this, but today Secretary Blinken uh, shared a productive call with Kazakhstan for Foreign Minister, uh, with the Kazakhstan Foreign Minister, where he reaffirmed the United States' full support for Kazakhstan's constitutional uh, institutions, human rights, media freedom including through the restoration of internet service and advocated for a peaceful rights respecting resolution to the crisis. Uh, there have been uh, kind of a range of reports about peacekeeping forces, which I think you might be referencing, but uh, from Russia, uh, we are closely monitoring reports that the collective security treaty organization have dispatched its collective peacekeeping forces to Kazakhstan. We have questions about the nature of this request and whether it has, it was a legitimate invitation or not. Uh, we don't know at this point. Uh, what the world will of course be watching for any violation of human rights and actions that may lay the predicate for the seizure of Kazakh institutions. And we call on the CSTO collective peacekeeping forces and law enforcement to uphold international human rights obligations in order to support a peaceful resolution. Of course, we will let the Kremlin speak uh, to their own forces and the size of them uh, and more specifics. But that's where we stand. Now, there has not been any change to the planned three sets of talks next week. And then just